subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification bell icon. Thank you. Hello, my wonderful people. Welcome back to my channel. Today we have a news from River State. It was gathered that security operatives block SNDDCMD Mrs. Joy Nune from leaving home in River State. Joy Nune, the former acting managing director of the Niger Delta Development Commission, was on Thursday blocked by 30 armed policemen from leaving her house in Portacourt, River State, for the airport. It was gathered that Nune was due to appear before Senate Committee on NDDC in Abuja this morning. Nune, in her court, said the police had taken over her house since 4 o'clock a.m. in Portacourt. She is expected to testify before the House of Representatives today. With a notable distress in her voice, she alleged the police broke into her premises and she expected they would take her away soon, a source close to her told the reporters. Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, Goswe Ababio and Nune had last week appeared before a Senate ad hoc panel investigating the alleged mismanagement of 40 billion naira by the Interim Management Committee of the NDDC. At the hearing, Ababio said he did not know the expenditure of the NDDC under Nune because she refused to give him briefings. But Nune, who made damning allegations against Ababio, said the minister engineered her removal for failing to dance to his tunes. She alleged that Ababio asked her to change the dollars in the NDDC account, sacked the head of Lega team, who is from the north, removed all directors who refused to follow his instructions, and also implicate Peter Nwoboshi, chairman of the Senate Committee on NDDC. According to Nune, Ababio warned that if she did not follow his instructions, she would be removed. She also alleged that Ababio would never sign any documents, but rather ask his subordinates to commit fraud. She said the minister asked her to take an oath of secrecy to stop her from exposing any of his dealings, but she refused. If you can recall earlier last week, the SNDDC chief said that she slapped Ababio for sexually harassing her. The former acting managing director of the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC, Joy Nune, has claimed that she slapped the Minister of Niger Delta Affairs, Gosfio Ababio, for sexually assaulting her. She disclosed this during an interview where she said that she is the only woman, the only Nigerian woman who has slapped the minister. The incident, she said, happened at his guest house in Abuja. Why did he not tell Nigerians that I slapped him in his guest house at Apo? I'm the only Ogini woman, the only Nigerian woman that has slapped him. I slapped him because of his plan B. Since he couldn't get me to take that money, he thought that he could come up on me. He didn't even know that I'm a Portacourt girl. Portacourt girls are not moved by money by somebody telling me that he will make me the substantive managing director. At Babio's meeting with me, we are either at Apo or Meridian. Yes, I'm accusing him of sexual harassment. There have been accusations and counter-accusations between the minister and the SNDDC boss. Her recent comment comes days after she accused the minister of fraud. She said during her briefing, her brief tenure of that the commission, Mr. Mabio repeatedly pressured her to take an oath of secrecy that was meant to keep her from exposing fraud at the commission. Mrs. Nune did not provide any evidence to support her claims against the minister. She added, You don't need to ask me. You can ask about four other husbands that she married. Mr. Mabio did not respond to phone calls and a text message on Monday seeking his response to the latest allegation. Mrs. Joy Nune assumed office 
as the acting managing director of NDDC after the removal of Akwagaga Enya in October 2019. But she was sacked four months after later as the crisis rocking the commission over abuse of funds kept mounting. President Muhammad Buhari named Pondai a professor of medicine as her replacement in February. It was as well gathered how Mr. Pabio played a major role in the removal of Ms. Nune. Mr. Pabio's relationship with the sacked NDDC chief was fraught with mutual suspicion and power play, according to people familiar with the matter. Besides Mr. Pabio and Mrs. Nune, officials and ex-officials of the NDDC have been trading accusations of fraud and abuse of power since President Muhammad Buhari ordered the audit of the interventionist agency's accounts last year. The Senate had on May 5th set up a seven-member committee to investigate the financial recklessness of the Interim Management Committee IMC, of the Commission. The lawmaker said within the last three months, the Commission spent over 40 billion naira without recourse to establish processes of funds disbursement. In the course of the investigative hearing, there have been many revelations ranging from how lawmakers hijacked the NDDC projects annually to how the Commission said it used 1.5 billion naira to take care of its staff as COVID-19 palliatives. Ababio denies the corruption, sexual harassment allegations leveled on him by the NDDC MD. The Minister of the Niger Delta Affairs, Senator Gosui Ababio, has refuted allegations of corruption, sexual, uh, sexual and workplace harassment, pipeline bombing, secret court activities, abuse of powers, among others leveled against him by Mrs. Joy Nune the former acting managing director of the Interim Management Committee of the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC. In a statement signed by his media office, Ababio said his initial attitude to the allegations was to allow his lawyers and the judicial system vindicate him, but that he was compelled to react due to the allegations of sexual harassment. Further, Ababio wondered why Mrs. Nune did not report the alleged incidents to the police at the earliest opportunity, if indeed it was true, considering that she left office since February 2020. All right, my people, this is all the news we have from, for you coming from River State. I will allow you to comment on what you think concerning this. But first of all, let me say what I think concerning Ababio and Nunes, Nunes' case. In this case, I'm thinking that Ababio and Nunes' case did not start from today. The crisis between them have started a long time ago, just that it's as if things are not taken serious in this country. Can you imagine that a senator in that ranking can, can force her, the subordinates to stoop so low to support him in his fraudulent actions? I don't think things like that should be condoned in this country. So many things are going wrong and so many of our leaders are abusing powers. Let's take the case of Magu for example. Magu, the former EFCC chairman. Can you imagine that after five years in office, he's still, he's still acting as the chairman and not verified as the real chairman of the EFCC. And he was detained for 10 days, only for him to come out after the 10 days and say that, all the allegations against him are nonsense that they are not true and that all like all everything they're saying about him is like a dog that is going to bite back where is this kind of thing done if not in nigeria like and he's going to walk out as a free man without anything being done on his matter i just hope that the nigerian government the presidency and all those in power will look into the matters concerning fraud allegations in this country because if not, I don't really know what they're teaching the future, the children coming up. I don't know what they're teaching the future leaders of the country. I just hope they will do something concerning this. Then I'm going to leave you now to state what you think concerning this. Whether you're in support of all this happening in this country or you're against it. 
would like to see your comments at the comment section but please do subscribe to our channel and do not forget to turn on your notification bell icon to get notified whenever we make a new upload see you in my next video thank you